Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the KVD Vegan Beauty Epic Kiss Lipsticks. If you do want to see a review and swatches, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. I purchased all 15 shades in this collection. Each lipstick retails for $22. I purchased mine on KVD's website, but I got it for a deal. I got it for $13 a piece. There was a sale going on on the website. I have my receipt. Here you can see I purchased each lipstick lipstick for $13 it says it here instead of $22 so I do want to read a little bit about the epic kiss lipsticks it does say KVD beauty epic kiss nourishing vegan butter lipstick is a role-breaking lipstick with both high pigment color and hydrating lip care in 15 bold shades packed with pigment for instant one swipe color with a comfortable shiny finish in 15 bold yet wearable shades complete with unexpected hues gives lips a smooth full look the sleek studded case is made from 80% post consumer recycled materials powered by vegan kupuasu butter to to help nourish lips and give it that ultra buttery bomb like feel here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like in the middle it says epic kiss and then right here at the top you have the kvd logo it says vegan beauty you turn it over again on this side here it tells you a little description it says nourishing vegan butter lipstick you get 1.5 grams of product or 0.03 ounces and then it says it in the middle in a different language. When you turn it over on the side here, it says the case is made from 80% recycled material. Box is fully recyclable. And then it says it in a different language. When you turn it over again, you have the ingredients and the barcode. And then when we turn it over again on the last side, it says hashtag KBD Vegan Beauty. It says it's vegan and then that's about it. The first shade is number 100 in Lolita. You have the shade name as well printed up at the top. On the bottom, it does state the shelf life. It states this is a 12 month shelf life. So let's open this up. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, such pretty packaging. I love the studded case packaging. Up at the top, you have the KVD initials. Down at the bottom, you have the shade name. Again, this is in the shade Lolita. Let's see how much product we get. Wow, that's a lot of product. Lolita is described as a chestnut rose. It's super pigmented with one swipe and it glided on very buttery. Let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. I did have to go over it with a second layer. It wasn't full opacity. You guys saw that when I first applied it. So I was kind of disappointed. I expected more pigmentation, but I really do love this shade. The next shade is called 110 She Defined. She Defined is described as a soft neutral pink. You can barely see it swatched on the back of my hand. I'm going to see if I can build it up. There we go. That's a much better swatch. Here's what that shade looks like. This shade washes me out, but I think it will look good with a chocolate brown lip liner. I'm gonna remove this shade. I'm gonna line my lips with this e.l.f. lip liner. And I'm gonna fill it in a little bit. Now I'm gonna apply the shade in She Defined. I love this lip combo, it's gorgeous. The next shade is called 120 Womankind. Womankind is described as a soft neutral beige. Again, I think this shade might wash me out as well, but let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. This shade washes me out by itself. Again, I'm gonna be pairing it with my dark brown lip liner. Going back in with the shade in Womankind. Again, pairing it with a lip liner is stunning. The next shade is 130 in Fine Thank You. Fine Thank You is described as a medium rose pink. Again, beautiful shade. This particular shade is one swipe pigment. I didn't have to go back and apply a second coat. This shade is gorgeous, I love it. The next shade is 150 in Zine Queen. Zine Queen is described as a medium golden brown. Looks like we're getting pigmentation now. Beautiful shade.
Zine Queen is another gorgeous shade. I love it. The next shade is 160 in Eco Feminist. Eco Feminist is described as a burnt red orange. Another gorgeous shade. The next shade is 170 in The Female Gaze. The Female Gaze is described as a warm brick red. Again, super pigmented. Even though I'm not a huge red shade wearer, I really do like how pigmented this shade is. The next shade is 180 in Madam President. Madam President is described as a deep crimson red. Another pigmented shade. I liked how this particular shade was one swipe pigment, and this shade is actually really gorgeous. The next shade is 190 in Roll Breaker. Roll Breaker is described as a true blue tone red. I'm not a huge fan of this red shade, but I really do like how pigmented it is. The next shade is in Growl 200. Growl is described as a hot fuchsia pink. Growl is such a bright, vibrant shade. I love it. The next shade is called Both Slash And, and this is number 210. This shade is described as a vivid raspberry pink. Really pretty. I love this shade as well. The next shade is called 220 in Upspeak. Upspeak is described as a bright orange red. Ooh, that's so bright. The shade is a little bit too vibrant for me. The next shade is called Next Wave. Next Wave is described as a mushroom grige. I actually really like this shade. It's unique. The next shade is number 250 in Womanism. Womanism is described as a deep plum purple. This shade is gorgeous. I love this shade. It's stunning. The last shade is number 260 in Blue Pink. Blue Pink is described as a deep purple blue. Again, super pigmented. I love this shade as well. Here's what all 15 shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. My final thoughts on the Epic Kiss lipsticks is that I really do like this formula. It feels very moisturizing on my lips. I'm gonna press my lips together and do a kiss test on the back of my hand just to see how much transfer we get. It does feel very moisturizing, so let's do a kiss test. Wow, that's a lot of transfer. The majority of the product is removed from my bottom lip, but we'll see how it does wear throughout the day. I will leave below in the description box how it does perform throughout my day. So far, so good. I really do like this formula and the shades that they came out with. If you guys have tried the Epic Kiss lipsticks, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.